So what you're looking at here is a obviously a Briggs and Stratton PP20. This is a 20 kilowatt whole house generator and it just got here, just got installed. And I want to talk a little bit about this install. Um, so I had this house built about a year ago and when I had it built I had the uh, the transfer switch put in that's the transfer switch right there this is a symphony 2 transfer switch that works with the Briggs and Stratton generator All right, so you can kind of see the setup here now I have two 200 amp service panels this outside service panel uh, which is here is a 200 amp panel that that is not on the generator that's just 200 amps that I have for outside power which um, comes in handy because I utilize it for the RV so I have a RV receptacle over here and that's got like 60 amps of power in it right there all right um, and other other things so there's gonna be a future barn and uh, you know other other things that will use this outside uh, power but um, it is not going through the generator so the generator runs the inside 200 amp panel which runs my well I'm on a well so it runs a well runs the air conditioning so I've got this air conditioning system which uh, runs you know it's, a, it's quite a large unit but this this generator should run it um, so I had everything put on, on this side of the house um, so that it was close to power. So they dropped the generator straight on the pad. They were able to run the gas lines and the power super easy. It's all really close. Again, that was all by design. So you can see I had, I had this uh, gas set up already here. It was a T that was put in when they, when they built the house. So all they had to do is put these other pieces in there and run the gas line and that's the setup so I have never started the generator it was installed hooked up and I have yet to start it so I'm gonna I'm gonna start this up for the first time it's pretty straightforward got the main breaker on uh, which is a hundred amp breaker and then you know I got the control panel and you can see if you can see that or not but the status is uh engines ready and it's in manual mode so i'm just going to go ahead and put it in start select Starting attempt one of six. Now I assume that it's going to take a little time because the gas probably. Again, it's 
not on a load. It's not running anything on the house. Um, it's just running at low speed. I just want to make sure it runs, right? Make sure it all works. And uh, I'm going to do a transfer test later on. But that is the Briggs & Stratton 20 kilowatt whole house generator. Brand new, first start. Um, and that's that's my setup. And it should, should take care of things here. If you have any questions uh, or you want to see anything about this generator, just let me know. So just a little bit more on the, uh, just so you get an idea of the sound. So I'm now inside the garage and the generator's just sitting on the outside. Out there, you can see it. And that's how noisy it is. It's my inside panel. This is the actual panel that it'll actually run for the house, so. But again, it's, uh, this is the noisy side. And I'm way at the end of my garage. Inside the house, I would not hear this generator run at all. I'm sure the neighbors can't either. So that is uh, the Briggs and Stratton 20 kilowatt. I think it's pretty pretty nice generator, pretty good setup. I'm, I'm happy with it. And when I do the full on load test, I'll, uh, I'll do another video, but let me know what you think.